Everyone better strap in because August 2024 is going to be a watershed moment for Social Security. Envision yourself waking up each month to the surprise of an additional $500, $700, or even $1,000 in your bank account. Feels like a dream come true? This dream is about to come true for millions of Americans who are seniors or disabled and rely on Supplemental Security Income and SSDI. Benefits have increased to an all-time high, with some people receiving as much as $19.18 a month. Except who meets the requirements? What impact will it have on your other benefits? Is there a caveat too? In the next 10 minutes, I will explain in detail this revolutionary increase to Social Security benefits, so be sure to stay connected. Come on, you absolutely cannot afford to miss. This. Greetings, everybody. If you're looking for the most recent information about stimulus programs for the economy, you've found the right channel stimulus updates. I'm Ali, and I'm here today to tell you about some great news. So let's skip the introduction and get to the point. For low-income seniors and those with disabilities who depend on Supplemental Security Income, SSI, and Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, August 2024 is building up to be a turning point. An all-time high of $1,918 per month is now possible thanks to a recent announcement by the Social Security Administration. Everyone is correct. $1,918. I understand your thought process now. This seems too wonderful to be genuine. This, I can tell you, is not an illusion. It is taking place. First, we should examine the background of this rise and its implications for the future of Social Security in the United States before diving into the specifics of who is eligible and how this will affect people's lives. Since its establishment in 1935, Social Security has served as a foundation for American society. Over the years, it has undergone many transformations, always with the intention of protecting the most defenseless members of our society. Concern regarding the sufficiency of these benefits has been on the rise in recent years, particularly in light of the fact that inflation and living expenses have been on the rise. An immediate decision to increase the maximum benefit to $19.18 was not made. It's the culmination of years of lobbying, research into the economy, and the increasing realization that many Americans were struggling to make ends meet with our present benefit levels. For those who get Supplemental Security Income or Supplemental Security Disability Insurance, let us now dissect whatever this implies. Let me start by saying that not everyone will get the whole $1,918. This is the maximum benefit amount, however, each person's actual benefit amount will be. It's determined by a number of circumstances such as their living situation and job history. This rise is especially noteworthy for those who get Supplemental Security Income. Income-limited seniors, people with disabilities, or those who are blind are eligible for Supplemental Security Income SSI. The federal SSI maximum payment was once substantially smaller. A new ceiling of $1,918 is a huge increase that has the potential to greatly enhance living standards. On behalf of a large portion of the United States population, regarding SSDI recipients, the effects will differ. Your average lifetime earnings prior to the start of your disability are the basis for your SSDI compensation. A high earner before the disability may already be at or near the new maximum if this is the case. Nevertheless, this rise might result in hundreds of additional dollars per month for several SSDI beneficiaries, particularly those who were incapacitated at a younger age or had lower paying employment. To guarantee the long-term viability of this benefit increase, the Social Security Administration has been collaborating closely with economic specialists. Efforts to enhance the program's administrative efficiency and modifications to the payroll tax cap are among the steps they've taken to fortify the trust fund. The experts I've talked to think this increase is affordable and important to meet Social Security's promise, even though there are still challenges. But enough with the abstract, let's get down to brass tacks concerning the implications for actual individuals. The tales of the people I've had the honor of talking to who will be most affected by this shift are inspiring and illuminating. Now I know a lot of you are curious about how to get the most out of it. Getting the most out of your Social Security income is something I can't guarantee, but there are some broad strokes I can cover. Verify that the Social Security Administration has an accurate record of your employment history. Second, if you're currently employed, it would be wise to seek out ways to boost your income. A larger benefit is typically associated with a higher lifetime earnings. Third, if you can, think about putting off retirement for a year or two. The benefits will grow year after year. You take your time till you reach the age of 70. Finally, be abreast of any developments. Regarding the Social Security program, Obviously, these are only broad suggestions. 
Always seek the counsel of a financial counselor or the Social Security Administration for specific tailored guidance. Since this news broke, our comment area has been inundated with questions and concerns. Let's address a few of them now. This is a typical concern, how would it influence my other benefits? That's a good point. Many low-income people may lose eligibility for other forms of aid if their income suddenly increases. Fortunately, this has been considered by the government. They are coordinating with other organizations to modify income requirements for different forms of aid and are executing a phase-in of the increase. Making sure that no one ends up worse off as a result of this benefit increase is the main objective. Regarding the schedule, there is another common inquiry. Can you tell me when these modifications will be implemented? Well, the increase will be implemented in August 2024. However, please be patient as it can take a few months for all beneficiaries to notice the full impact in their payments. As they implement this huge transformation, the Social Security Administration is providing patients with advice. These include our friends, neighbors, grandparents, and parents. They have worked hard throughout their lives to improve our society, and now is the time to ensure that they can age in place or deal with disability with the respect and dignity they deserve. We are moving closer to keeping that promise with this benefit boost. If you would want more information about these changes and how they can impact you directly, you can find official resources on the Social Security Administration in the descriptions below. I want to remind everyone to check them out before we go. In addition, if you thought this video was useful, please subscribe, like, and click the bell icon to ensure that you do not miss any future updates regarding Social Security. On this, the most exciting day of the year for Social Security, I am grateful that you have chosen to accompany me. When it comes to matters of advantage, keep in mind that information is power. Never stop learning, never stop participating, and never stop working for a brighter future for every American. Before we meet again, make sure you all take care of one another.